It's week two of the NFL, and all eyes are on the Jaguars, leader at quarterback. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Jags and the Raiders, next on Madden NFL 24. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by... Two teams here fresh off week one victories. Who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports? And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And leading the charge, their lefty QB. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes, and make no mistake about it. He was eager to get right back out and do it again, so I think we'll see him try to test his secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And I could see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A first carry now for Reggie Bush. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and five. Now a first carry for their fullback. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here, as this is toward the sideline. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sensed that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense. Oh, the first play of the game, going to be intercepted. And to the 43, so down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Chandler. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. They'll look to throw again. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great play there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Jaguars are on the board first here in Vegas. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. First carry for Peyton Barber. And he'll get about three up past the 25. Third and eight. Back to throw. Bledsoe. Throwing left sideline there. 
but it's incomplete. On is the Hall of Famer Ray Guy to punt this away on fourth down. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Fielded at about the 28. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. The drive starts with Reggie Bush. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Second and five. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is caught. Touchdown. Odell Beckham. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And it's now 14 to nothing. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Throwing to start the drive. Bledsoe. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Bledsoe got a man. It's Randy Moss. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up second down. Off play action. Bledsoe. He's going deep for Brown. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to let it go again. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Here's Ray Guy now. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. They'll try and start this drive in the air. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw here. Throw left side complete. That's Chandler. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for the first with Bush. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. This second and four. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Back to throw now on first down. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Hall of Famer, Willie Brown. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Jackson will cross the line. He's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Sebastian Janikowski on for the PAT. And that one makes it 14-7. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He finds his man complete. It's Moss. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. 
He'll look to throw. He's going to find Taylor downfield. It's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Bush. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. It's complete to his big target, Crumpler. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. He'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Second and six from the 10. They're going to look to throw. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion one. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. The kick by Lambeau is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera, but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. They go play action here on first down. That's going to be caught by Moss. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle they go with a big back, Jackson. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Now Allen. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. This will be caught by Randy Moss. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here's a second and five. Operating from the gun, Bledsoe, and that'll be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Back to throw again. Shakes off the... But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Off the play fake. Bledsoe. Under pressure, they got him again. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. They run the draw play. Allen. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Here's Ray Guy now on to punt it away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. So here are the Jaguars to take over on offense. They were able to defeat Houston last week. They lead things here as well as they try to make it two victories in a row. They'll start on the ground with Bush. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. Now second and nine. They'll set up a throw. Caught on the right side by Adams. So the completion gets him just a yard. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. 
They'll try the right side with Bush. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 47. Looking to throw. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Back to throw here. And this is incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Completion here as they fail to connect on third. So on fourth down, Jags kicker Josh Lambeau comes on. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And Lambeau will put this one through, and that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along. And now... now I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Now a second and ten. Back to throw. Bledsoe. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Bledsoe. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle, complete. That's Moss. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's complete to Bo Jackson. Touchdown, Raiders! A big play there. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. Janikowski adds the extra point, and the lead will shrink to six. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Bledsoe. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. From the gun on third down, Bledsoe. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in the touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. 
And the Raiders are an extra point away from moving out in front in the final minute of the half. Janikowski good with the extra point. And that will give them the lead here as we get on towards halftime. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking middle, and that's complete. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now back to throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Janikowski now for the point after. And with that, the lead is up to eight. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. They'll throw now on the final play. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Taylor. So we've reached halftime in a... Sorry, Coach, put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So here are the Raiders now to take over. They got the victory last week. That was against Washington, and now they lead this ball game as well. Set to go here first and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll make it second down. Back to throw. Bledsoe. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Now a handoff inside. It's Jackson, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Bledsoe. This one caught by Terrell Owens. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. On first and 10, Bledsoe. And he'll get this one complete to T.O. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. On second down, this is Jackson. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal. His good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. They run again with Jackson. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try and run for it with Bo. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Raiders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I 
think it does at least a little bit because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And the Raiders have got him. Sacked by the relentless Howie Long. Here's Logan Cook now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Bledsoe. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Now second and five. Back to throw. Bledsoe. Got a man. It's Randy Moss. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They run on first down with Jackson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Off play action. Bledsoe. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. it left side and he can only manage to get this to the 45 yard line well short of the first and on fourth down on is the punt team sending this one away Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance they couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goal post Charles we'll see if they can get a better more sustained drive going here yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They run up the middle with Bush. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now Bush running left. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Bush trying the middle. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. Can't get away, and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. They'll start here with Jackson, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. They'll run again with Jackson, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. 
The offense on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Bledsoe. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a give, it's Jackson, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Right back to him on first down. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Off the play fake. Bledsoe, he finds his man complete. It's Christensen. Call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. Back to throw. Bledsoe. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Jags are right back in this football game. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Here's a second and seven. Throw caught there by Crumpler. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll look to throw. And the Raiders have got him. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Eluding the pressure right. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. They run with Jackson out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Second and six. Looking to throw. Bledsoe. Touchdown, Raiders! Randy Moss. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Raiders are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth-quarter lead. Janikowski adds the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone, and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Bush. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and 10 right now. Up the middle with Gurley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two from the five here. Second and two. They'll drop to throw. Touchdown, Jaguars. Algie Crumpler, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. They'll look to throw. And he's going to get in for the score. And the lead now cut to 14. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game and someone... And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And the Jaguars are right back in this football game. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. 
Back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. He'll drop to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Back-to-back -back sacks have this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the longtime Raider, Willie Brown. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. On the give, here comes Jackson. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Janikowski's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. It's complete to his big target, Crumpler. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They'll look to throw now on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Chandler. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Now second and three. Again, he'll drop to throw. That one thrown across his body, and it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll look to throw again. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Raiders, it's a win here in their home opener as they move.